started flying and flew directly into my truck. And it hit. Sometimes when I'm thinking about us Before we got lost and we parted Back to back we were Good morning. My husband took my tripod, my big one. So I'm filming on my little stand one on the, the, the my little one, my little one. So I might not get the best of everything, which my, my videoing sucks, but it is okay. I'm not, a, I mean, I'm not professional in it, so it's whatever. But anyways, um, I got a lot of cleaning up done yesterday. I did not film it, but I got a lot of cleaning up done yesterday. Um, so <clears throat> today I'm gonna try, I, I've already started. I've got my countertops, majority of my countertops wiped off. I just got to empty the dishwasher and wipe the island off. And then over here, this area, wipe it off. And then fold some more clothes because you know, that's never ending laundry. And I want to sweep them off. But if you're new, my name is Casey, and I'm a stay-at-home mom of three wonderful babies. Um, but they'll always be my babies, no matter how old they get. And I just film and record. I don't do all of the, I do this, this, and this. I do a little, I mean, I talk, I clean. Yeah. But yeah, that's that. Anyways, <laughs> I'm very awkward, and that is okay. But, um, I did want to come in here and share with y'all that my husband and I have started our own business. He still has his full-time job. Um, he'll be working his full-time job for a while. Like, I, we, unless, and we are praying that God will provide and that our business will grow really big where he will be able to work the business full-time and not have to have you know, do his full-time job now and then the business on the side that, you know, the business will grow so big that that would be his full-time job and not working where he's at right now. But for the time being, it is extremely hard and difficult. And I know majority of everybody can agree. It is hard living off of one income and I get it. I could go work. Don't get me wrong. I used to have a really good job. Um, but then I, my check, we have figured it up, would only go to daycare. Um, and then living where we're living at now, that was 45, 50 minutes. And then you got to put in gas and the maintenance on your vehicles and everything. <coughs> I would, honestly, I'd be going into the negative versus anything. So it was best for me to stay home and be with the kids. And honestly, I love it. We love it. We don't have to depend on anybody because um, I do everything. And honestly, I wouldn't change it for nothing. Um, I love working. I, honestly, I do. I absolutely love working. But I love being home with my kids even more. Even though one of my children are in school. One of my children is in school. Hopefully, she won't be homeschooled soon. Um, but anyway, anyways, that she... Even though she is in school, I still have two at home. And now, so we started our own business and hoping and praying that that will help us come out of debt because <laughs> we are in debt, you know, with house, cars. We do have credit cards. Um, and just regular, normal debt, which our biggest ones is our house and our car. <laughs> But besides that, like we're just trying to stay caught up. We want our kids to be able to have and to want, but not really any wants, just what they need. And living off one income is really hard. Like it is extremely hard. And it's like, no matter how hard you try and budget, no matter how hard you try and save money, because I'm, I love working with numbers and, budgeting i love keeping track of everything you don't see many people use the checkbooks method anymore i do i use it like crazy um i've been using the checkbook method since 
I had my own account, which my parents got me my own account when I was really young. And once I got my first job at 15, 16, I started using the checkbook method because I wanted to know literally every detail. Um, so I love all of that. I enjoy working with numbers and seeing the, you know, ins and outs of all of it. But it was like, no matter what I did, no matter how much we cut out, we were still drowning. And so we're hoping and praying that the start of this business is God's calling for us to help us see a way out. Right now, it is going good. So thank the Lord for that. We are extremely excited. It is new. It's a pressure and soft washing business. And we are absolutely loving it. We always love washing our house and stuff. We love doing that kind of stuff. So we just took it a step further and made a business out of it. So if y'all could just pray for us and pray that it's whatever God's will will be done for us in this business. You know, our, our hands are up to him. Like we lift our hands to him. We praise him through the good, the bad and everything. So no matter what, happens we're going to be thankful and we're going to praise him so that's a little update and i manage the business my husband just does the work so i manage <laughs> all the ins and outs of the business um so yeah so that is something else that i have added to my plate so but i'm it's okay i don't mind it if my plate was empty i would feel iffy like I would mm, like that so with it being full and overloaded I don't know I feel like that's home to me <laughs> but anyways let's start getting this stuff done I've chatted a little too long so hey my sweet friends this rug here my sister actually gave it to me she had a new one she's had this one for about two years maybe I'm not sure exactly but she had it and she Honestly, she just didn't feel like cleaning it. She didn't feel like... I have her shampooer. So, the shampooer I have is actually hers. And she she was like, I don't even feel like having to get it from you and cleaning it. So, if you want the rug, you can just have it. So, of course, I was like, yeah. Like, don't mind me. Like, I'll get on my hands and knees and scrub that floor clean. <laughs> scrub that rug clean before going out there spending three to $400 on a actual like really good rug and she gets her rugs from Lowe's and she gets like the whole set so she has a runner and stuff as well so I'm hoping I might can get that from her <laughs> but anyways I just got on my hands and knees I used some oxyclean and some hot water mixed it together like let it dissolve and stuff and just got on my hands and knees and just scrubbed the rug really really good and then use the I got some stuff from Walmart like some shampoo stuff to clean the carpet with to put in the machine I got that, put it in the machine, and just went over the rug multiple times to honestly just clean it. Because, you know, she has three kids. So, of course, they're, like, all over it and stuff like that, which is fine. I mean, I don't care. You know, I'm thankful that she actually gave me the rug and didn't, like, throw it away or anything. So, she actually asked me if I wanted it, and I said, of course. I just had to clean it, and that does not bother me. That's in my element is seeing before and afters of cleaning. Like, I absolutely love seeing before and afters. So, you know, I took pictures of the rug before, and then I have pictures of it after, and it's like night and day difference. I haven't set up my living room yet, like, you know, like a set up my living room with the ottoman and put the blanket on it that goes on the ottoman and the rug and everything. I haven't got like a set up yet, um, and took pictures or videoed it or anything like that. There's been toys all over it. The kids absolutely love it. They bring all their toys in there, which were already in there anyways. But now that the rug's down there, the floor's not cold. And they can actually get down there and play without worrying about hitting, like, actually getting hurt. So, I'm actually loving the rug. The kids are loving it as well. Especially my son and my daughter because she's crawling. But, we went ahead and once it dried and stuff, we went ahead and moved it into the living room. Which, I did not film that part. But... We absolutely love it. I am going to get a film where it's like the chairs clean and everything. And show you guys what it looks like. 
but um I feel like it ties the living room in so well like it actually makes it look like a living room and I am beyond excited and beyond grateful that my sister gave it to me so here we are just folding some laundry that's on the chair I absolutely love putting my laundry on the chair instead of in the bedroom because I actually get it done a lot quicker and a lot faster when it's in there in the bedroom it's like out of sight out of mind because I'll like close the bedroom door and won't even think about it where on the chair it is an eyesore which I did say in the last video so I have been doing my laundry so and this year I have I don't have any decorations for my TV stand I have not went to town and bought anything to decorate it with and I'm not one of those that has like decorations in their house that oh I can just move it from this area to this area I don't have a ton of decorations so I cannot do that one day I will be I will have that I'll be able to do that but right now it's just not for me or just not in the works for me so right now my children especially my son puts all his monster trucks and cars and dinosaurs and stuff on it it's like his little um thing that he shows off his toys with and you know what that's fine if he wants to put his toys and stuff on it right now <laughs> that is completely fine with me but I do need to clean it off and get it wiped down and would you do not see me wipe it down because I do not get to wipe it down yet but I will <laughs> but anyways this is just some little spot cleaning that I have done throughout this day so I hope you guys enjoy My best friend didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drifting the deep space. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. I was gonna stay in the fight with you. Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it. Each and every high, every night with you. You and me so clueless. just like a just dirty but no it's like beat up from washing dishes and them hitting the walls and stuff so my wall was extremely beat up <laughs> but i do want to go through and like okay. paint so i just mopped like the hallway behind the couch my little entry area oh my son's currently mopping right now in front of the fireplace that little part in front of it because i have not showed you guys my rug yet in the living room so i need to go i need to show you that but I got all the kids toys on it right now, but I had a smart idea. I have to leave to go get my daughter from school. So what I'm going to do to let my floor dry is I'm going to put the kids in the truck and mop my way out of the house. So my floor be dried by the time I get home. So I already mopped that. I didn't feel mopping that because I was actually on the phone with my sister. So I'm going to mop the kitchen real fast. I'm gonna put them in the truck or get them situated here at the door and then mop my way out the house. <laughs>
So that actually worked. I'm on my stuff out the house. So now when I go, I always like to sweep, mop, sweep. Cause it's like, it's hot here y'all. It's like 81. Um, because it's like after I mop, there's just random dirt. A lot of dirt that shows up. So yeah, I got to, uh, when I get back home, I need to sweep. that. Fun fact, yesterday on my way home, I had to take my daughter to the dentist, which is like an hour and 15 minutes from the house. There you go. A, a random, this is the second time, but this is the first time it actually hit me, second time. The first time it happened, I had enough time to slow down because it happened right here in front of the house. But yesterday on one of the back roads, I was driving and there was a turkey and I was like, stay there turkey so I started slowing down and the turkey turned around and went the other way well it turned around and started flying and flew directly into my truck and it busted my rearview mirror on my passenger side but anyways I weren't upset about it or anything I was just upset that the turkey used its life to damage my truck um she didn't damage it, it just, the mirror, I just gotta replace it, which is not a problem, but my biggest concern was the poor turkey. <laughs> I just put my seatbelt on, see, my mind's going crazy. But anyways, we're going to go get my daughter from school and come back home and clean. Okay, so I got our money bags in for our business. Um, and I ordered this calendar scheduler book thing it's a calendar but it's for so i can like schedule when i schedule people down for their housing their houses and stuff i wanted something that was like this that way i could just like write them down but i think i should have got something different i don't know i could not find a book that was exactly what i wanted and exactly what i was looking for so this will have to do This one in there. I couldn't find exactly what I was wanting, so hopefully that'll work. But now I'm just going through my daughter's folder. Right. So yeah, she's got a book fair coming up, which is so exciting. I hope we're able to go, and so I can like pay for her stuff. Plus, she's only five. She's doing so good with her stuff. But, anyways, that is probably going to be the end of this video. Um, I do need to empty the dishwasher. I didn't get that done. So, I might empty the dishwasher. I'm not going to might. I will. But, yeah. But, anyways. So, yeah. That's the end of today's video. I'm sorry it's not as motivational as it could have been or should have been. I say we are getting better and we are doing better. <laughs> And so we are excited about that. Um, but this is like real life stuff, so it is this is what you get. Um, but I do have some more cleaning stuff. She keeps touching the thingy. More cleaning stuff I want to get done. So I'll bring you guys along. I'm gonna start doing more like thank you guys so much for being here and being a part of our family. And I hope to got hope to see you guys in the next one. I'm hoping to start filming a lot more because I know I probably can because she's been very mobile lately. Um, she started crawling and within like two weeks she's pulling up and walking along. As long as she's holding on to something, she's gone. Um, so I'm like, uh, you're going way too fast, Miss Ma'am. Slow it down. So I'm going to get them dressed and we're going to head out. And I'll probably film this afternoon cleaning because I do want to get the house and stuff clean because we do have plans for tomorrow with my daughter's school, like a spring fling type thing. So that is gonna be fun and exciting. So anyways, I love y'all and thank y'all for being here.